And for our first issue this week, we train our sites on the country's biggest airport, the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. It is no secret that our airport is among the worst in the world. Now, the developer of Magtan Cebu Airport has a proposal to decongest and rehabilitate Naia. Our business reporter Andre Ko has the story. The partners who developed Magtan Cebu International Airport, Megawide Corporation and GMR, have submitted a proposal to rehabilitate and decongest Naia. The proposal, which would cost 3 billion US dollars, aims to accomplish this and sustain it for the next 18 years. It took no less than three years for the partnership to finalize this proposal. If accepted, GMR and Megawide Corporation seek to address the capacity problem of the IA and maximize the congested airport's airside and terminal capacities. Mr. Louis Ferrer, speaking for the consortium, revealed that their team has transformed Delhi International Airport, one of the worst airports before, into what it is now, one of the top five best airports in the world. Likewise, they have transformed Mactan Cebu International Airport into the 2016 Best Regional Airport in Asia Pacific. The rest of the story with our business reporter. For GMR Megawide, the primary problem of NAIA is capacity. Because of our limited airfield capacity, our capability to accommodate more flights is severely affected, according to Mr. Ferrer. Added to this is NAIA's reduced ability to control delays related to aircraft movements, which in turn worsens congestion in the airport. The proposal thus seeks to enhance the airport's capacity and efficiency as well as reduce airside and landslide congestion. The $3 billion US dollars proposal is divided into three phases. The first phase, which will be carried out on the first and second year, will focus on boosting NAIA's airside capacity and implementing terminal improvements by building full-length parallel taxiways for both runways, additional rapid exit taxiways for the primary runway, and extend the secondary runway. On year three and year four, Phase 2 will commence with the introduction of key improvement measures that will elevate the airport to world-class efficiency standards. On the 5th and 6th year, the consortium will build future capacity for NAIA. GMR Megawide believes that with their proposed solutions, we can increase airfield capacity up to 1,000 aircraft movements a day. This is a 30-35% to 35 increase from the present 730 aircraft movements per day. For peak hours, aircraft handling capacity will be increased by 50% from the current 40 to 60. GMR Megawide also promises that within 24 months of taking over operations, they will rehabilitate and expand the existing terminals to double the space and result in over 700,000 square meters of terminal area. When completed, the airside facilities and terminals shall be able to handle 72 million passengers. GMR Megawide is proposing a shorter concession term of 18 years which is unprecedented in airport PPP projects of this size. During this time, the consortium will pay the government annual concession fees with a revenue share and a guaranteed minimum revenue component. 